send you the link here. Like I said, guys, if you guys are interested, this is going to be taking place in a few minutes. So I decided to jump on here and direct you guys to the good stuff because I want you guys to succeed in your business. And the reason I made a 360 booth channel was to show my 360 booth journey, all the things that I have to, you know, obstacles and, 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 and sometimes, and sometimes I even share like my victories and just how rewarding it could be just in general to be a business owner and wake up with the mentality of like, no matter what happens. I'm going to strive because if it's a setback, that means I can learn from that setback. Now, if it's a W, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and uh, have a great day and really soak up that W because it takes a lot of work to get to that point. So I just set up the link here. I sent the link here, guys, on the YouTube uh, live. If you guys are subscribed to the YouTube channel, you guys probably got a notification letting you guys know that I'm going live on YouTube. And like I said, guys, do this for your business because you guys are your business do this for yourselves get familiar with seo learn how to uh build a website that's going to bring in money and not just a website that you guys can show to your friends and family and say hey look i have i have a website i'm 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 a big deal now that's don't do it, don't do it for those reasons set up that website because you guys want to use that website as a big net to catch a lot of fish to catch a lot of traffic to get a lot of inquiries to get bookings and you know, make good money as a business owner, guys. So once again, I am over on YouTube live right now, sending the link on the chat box here so that you guys can click on that link and save a spot for yourselves because this SEO webinar, Wix SEO is going to be going live uh, in just a few minutes at 1, 1 p.m. Pacific time. And then, no, that's not, that's not right. It's not 1 p.m. Pacific time, is it? It is going to be, oh yeah, 1 p.m. Eastern time. I'm in California, so for me, it's coming up at uh, 10 a.m., all right, because I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in Cali. So, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, wave all, wave hello to all my friends and family, my homie Mondo. What's up, Mondo? Another cool thing, guys, is I have an appointment set up with uh, Snapic for late tonight. Once again, I have an appointment set up with Snapic. There's a few things that I really want to master. I want to be one of the best in the game. And the only way I can be one of the best in the game is by picking the expert's brain. That had a ring to it. The best, I want to be the best in the game with no shame. I don't want to be lame walking around with zero fame. In fact, I want to be the best that I can without having the time to complain. Look back at my life and be like, wow, things are no longer the same. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead and... um. Continue to, you know, move forward with curiosity, you know, learn every day something new. So I'm going to be jumping, like I said, with Snapic on. I'm going to be jump, jumping in with one of the members on Snapic here. Now, here's the thing I like about Snapic, guys. There's a ton of things. But some of the things that I, I want to share with you is that Snapic has instant uh, customer service, technical support 24-7. And I know some of the folks uh, had the same experience that are on the Facebook group. The Facebook group is a wonderful place to be at because people from different states and different cultures and just people with a different vision are constantly posting on the Facebook group and it allows you to have insight as to what being um, uh, an edge with in the game. So they have strategies, right? And, and you constantly want to plug yourself in to see, hey, how can I contribute? And not, not just that, but how can I step back, analyze what's going on and use it to my benefit? So if you guys haven't joined the Facebook group, it's a Facebook community with over 3,360 booth operators on the platform. Another thing that I want to share with you guys is um, Snapic does a really good job because what they'll do is say you want to sit down and you want to go over their uh, software. They'll send you a link where you can book a one-on-one -on -one with them for absolutely free. And so that's what I'm going to be doing later on. Um, another thing with Snapic is they're constantly growing and there's an upcoming event. See if I can pull it up here. There's an upcoming event that Snapic is going to be hosting. It's not the it's not the affiliate. No, it's not it. Um, it's going to be out in Vegas next year, and I th I think I'm going to roll. I think I'm I think I'm going to head out there um, for many reasons. One because I, I like doing random things like that, just taking off somewhere by myself and, and just uh, be in my uh, in, in the present and just kind of. Not be afraid to just do things solo. Just go out there because if I feel like the universe is telling me, David, go. So 
most likely I'm going to be out in Vegas, Nevada next year. Uh, early, I think it's where's the um, I sent it to I sent it to Mondo. Uh, Mondo's been um, with me since I kind of started my channel. Mondo and his wife also have a 360 booth, and Mondo's constantly looking to grow. So, someone asked me, David, why, why Snapic and not Luma booth? Well, Luma booth is a great application, guys. I'm always going to be straight up with you guys, okay? So Luma Booth is dope, especially the, the price point. The price point for Luma Booth is only $19.99 a month, um, which is, I think, a really good deal, especially if you're getting started and, and you have your budget is, is, a, is a very tight budget. Luma Booth is going to offer you multiple things that I think are really helpful for the uh, for a beginner, for a 360 photo booth business that are beginners. Now, what do I mean by beginners is one thing, with Luma Booth, you guys can actually set up the event right from your device, right from your phone. You don't need a laptop. That alone right there is amazing. Uh, second, Luma Booth has stepped it up this year by offering you guys 1080p, and their speed ramps are pretty amazing. Now, what are speed ramps? Um, a lot of folks probably don't know what speed ramps are, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in here and show you guys what a speed ramp is and how cool it looks. Let me go ahead and find that. Right now, give me one second, guys. I gotta go blow my nose. It's cold in here. So what, what are speed ramps? Um, I'm going to show you a very, very good example of what speed ramps do and how much it changes uh, from like example touch picks because touch picks is just going to show you the slow-mo and the boomerang. And if you guys want to add little effects here and there, you could add those effects, but let's just be honest with each other. Those effects that they offer, not, re not a really big deal. You're better off getting speed ramps with Luma Booth. All right, and by the way, I haven't used TouchPix in a few months, so if TouchPix has changed something and you're a TouchPix user and TouchPix is now using speed ramps, uh, well, let me know if I'm wrong. All right, let me see. So, Once again, guys, if you guys want to see uh, my screen here, let me, here, let me just go ahead and change this. Well, let me go ahead and ask. Uh, let me, hey, thank you, er, uh, everyone that's here on the live on on uh, YouTube. Thank you very much, guys, for the likes because we all know that the, the algorithm is annoying, but at the same time, we can use it to our benefit. So I appreciate everyone on the YouTube channel that's hitting the like button because we know that there are other people who need this information, right? And this information is coming at you absolutely free. And... Um, Someone reached out to me out of the blues and said, hey, David, I know I'm calling your business line and I know it's just your booking line, but I just wanted to take the time to let you know uh, we're grateful for all the free information you put out. And yeah, guys, um, it's 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 almost like a duty for me because in life they say that you really don't know something or you really haven't learned something unless you can teach it. So this is me teaching you guys, which means I'm getting my shit down. Like I'm learning my stuff, right? So I need to stop saying right and so. I watch some of the stuff that I put out and I constantly say so, right, and um. And if I want to be a better uh, presenter and um, have a better presentation, I need to stop saying some of those words. But guys, I have time right now to actually answer some of your questions, but I, I really, um, <laughs> I hope you guys can make it over to the live stream here on YouTube, the reason why is because some of you guys have great questions and it could be a beginner question. And believe me, there's a lot and lots of beginners because there's a lot of brand new business, uh, 360 booth businesses. So bring your questions over to the YouTube channel so that later on when we post this video, other people that are in a situation like you are right now can have access to those answers. So I welcome everyone on Instagram, on TikTok, and I'm not on Facebook today, 
But yeah, for you guys that are on TikTok right now and Instagram, if you guys join me over on live, the live YouTube stream I have going on right now, that would be dope. Uh, that way we can get your questions answered. So let's go ahead and, and dive into some of these questions. Oh, let's see. Uh, P.E. Edward Photography. Hey, David, I have an iPad with a stand I built. I made sure it looked great and not like a dying project. My question is, do I market this as a photo booth or iPad photo booth or selfie booth? That's a really cool question. In fact, I've never received that question before. So cheers. So for, for me, if, you, if you're designing, you know, do, if you did, if you made a digital photo booth yourself, that's the way you want to label it. You don't want to label it an iPad booth because everyone and your everyone in their household has at least one iPad. So why would they pay you guys hundreds of dollars hourly for an iPad booth if they already have an iPad booth? Right. So you want to market it a little different. You want to call it a digital photo booth. And on top of that, you want to make sure you're letting them know the software that it comes with it's premium which it's gonna uh, it's gonna allow a a really good photo gifs and burst um not just sell it as a uh selfie photo booth i mean a selfie photo booth could work uh but this is another thing guys so this is a good question because it leads to another one so for example they want to know should i be presented as a photo booth or an ipad photo booth now the ipad photo booth is a, uh is, is a no for sure, you don't want you don't want to market your digital photo booth as an iPad booth. You want to remove the word iPad from it, just because, like I said, everyone already owns an iPad and they don't want to pay extra money to have someone drop off an iPad with a stand or a tripod. All right, guys. Uh, but right here, he also writes or a selfie photo booth. So in this situation, what I would do is I would go on Google Trends, right, Google keyword, and type in selfie photo booth. And what Google's going to do is it's going to search across you know, the entire uh, platform and it's going to show me how many hits and how much of a search volume selfie photo booth has. Now, if it has a lot of element, it's getting a lot of monthly searches that you might want to start ranking for that keyword. And this is what I mean. This is where this is this is a, this is what we're going to be learning uh, in the live webinar that's coming up right now uh, for Wix SEO. Once again, guys, if you are on um, if you're a Wix holder, if you're a Wix holder, if you're a Wix user, um, I'll go ahead and include the link here on YouTube so that you guys can sign up and actually join me in the meeting that's going to be taking place in a few minutes. All right. So I hope that answers your question, P. Edward Photography. And once again, guys, thank you so much for the likes here on uh, YouTube. Thanks for spreading the love and the support. Thank you. All right. Um, let's go ahead and continue with these questions. All right. Uh, Damiola Ogansanwo. I know I probably said that incorrectly. <laughs> All right. So how much does it cost to create a website on Wix? I want to say for me, it, it's, uh, so it's there, they have different packages. They have, you know, your basic, your premium, your, your, uh, I think it's enterprise, um, I set these websites up months and months back. So I don't remember the, the pricing off the top of my head. But for me, I did a lot of it. In fact, I did all of it myself when I created my Wix website. I did it all by myself. The reason why is because I wanted to learn. And that's another thing about Wix is they have customer support right at your fingertips. All you have to do is go to help and then type in customer assist or customer care and then ask you a couple of questions. And then within the, that same thread, it's going to ask you, would you like a call now? And so that you put your phone number and Wix will call you within an hour. That's one thing I really like about Wix. So Wix actually taught me how to build the website because trust me, guys, I was calling Wix every single day when I was uh, launching my 360 booth business. I spent a lot of all of my free time. I spent it building my website, learning how to build a website. So in a sense, I was like my own intern. Um, so when you ask me how much did it cost to build my website, it cost me a lot of hours. I spend over, I want to say, I'm trying to backtrack and I think I spent over two weeks tweaking uh, my website and adding content to it as I started, you know, gaining events and also learning how to uh, do things such as not only offering different services, but also uh, products. And on top of that, how to use a dashboard properly. And it's, it's a learning curve 
And it sounds overwhelming, but now I'm at a point where I go in there and I make tweaks that only take a few seconds. So uh, yeah, it, it took me more time than money. So I can't really give you a, a, a money, um, a monetary number there. So <clears throat> thank you, Jose. Mondo the human. David is trying to be the best there ever was. Pokemon, Pokemon them starts in the background. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. I don't know what Mondo made my Pokemon. All right. So <laughs> earlier I spit a little freestyle that was straight trash. But I, I like rhyming because it keep it fires up your brain. Um, what's the Facebook page? Great question. Let me go ahead and plug in the Facebook page here, the Facebook group on YouTube Live here. Let me go ahead and find the page here, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and provide you guys with the link so that you guys can join the page that has over 3,500 members. And most members are 360 booth operators and photo booth business owners. So let me go ahead and plug that number right in there or that link. The reason I uh, put this group together is, one, because you guys started requesting a group on Facebook. And then some other people said, hey, David, we're following so-and-so on Facebook. How come we haven't came, come up with a Facebook group? And at that time, what I was trying to do is just share my life, my journey on uh, YouTube. But then when I started getting so many comments and, and you know questions I realize I can't answer everyone's question. This is way too much. Like I just couldn't do it. So once I started the community, then everyone started to help each other out. And that is the most beautiful part of a community is everyone helping each other out and everyone having a similar goal in mind. So, hey, everyone on TikTok and Instagram, I went ahead and shared the Facebook group link here on YouTube. Um, let's see, let me go up. I know there's more questions right up here. Yeah, so that's a Facebook link. Yep, it's on IG, bro. Check your message on. Yeah, guys, so uh, someone brought up a good point that I don't check my messages too much on Instagram. Don't take it personal. Just know that I'm a business owner and that I also have a personal life and I don't have time to answer everyone's question on Instagram. And I made a very transparent video on YouTube, letting you guys know that, hey, most likely I won't be getting to your messages on Instagram because that is not the type of style, lifestyle that I want to live. I don't I don't like seeing people at restaurants just on their phone, not even interacting with one another. And everyone's walking in the street, not even aware of their surroundings on their phone. I'm the type of the guy that I don't like spending too much time on my phone. That's why you guys only see 360 booth content on my phone because I don't share, you know, my private life, personal things that I like doing for my health, for my mind, for my spirit, because it's like, I don't need to be flexing. I don't need to show people exactly what I'm eating. I don't know. I need to share people like good moments from my life because I feel like that's, that's not the way to really live life and promote your life. It's like, guys, look, let me show you the highlights. No, I show you guys things where I F up when it comes to the 360 booth business. And I also show you guys things that work out well in the 360 booth business. I'm here, try, I'm, I'm here trying to provide you guys with some value before I RIP because life is way too short like me. So, uh, yeah, guys, just, just remember that, that if you guys are constantly posting videos and photos of yourselves on social media, of your outfit, where you're going, what you're drinking, People don't care. They truly don't care. And quite honestly, you should disinflate your ego because that should be in your gallery and not in your social media. Why do you need to post it on social media? You need validation. Do you need those likes? You really don't need none of that shit. So keep all that to yourself and stay in tune with yourself. That way, the out, out the what's going on in the hourly world, it doesn't, it's not going to be able to steer your emotions because you're solid in the inside. You don't care what the world thinks. And I had a lot of failures before I got here and I didn't care what the world thought. You know, I, I was at, sometimes I was dating during this process and that this is another reason why I'm not actively dating is because I, I don't have time to try to prove to someone who I am. I don't have time to show somebody like, this is my capacity. This is my potential. I just want to live my life in the purest, purest way. And, and this is one way I'm doing it is by really spending time out of my life 
to show you guys exactly what you could be doing that's going to help you guys not only with your business, but also maybe just in life in general, right? Because they say the people that suffer most uh, will eventually have the most success if they don't throw in the towel. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me go ahead and um, get back to these questions, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Life, uh, life finance, finance. Uh, I have uh, someone here on YouTube. I've been having trouble with Luma Booth when connected to external monitor for the audience. It doesn't display barcode and it doesn't. So when I uh, was using the external monitor back when I was using touch picks, I was having so many issues, guys, that I just stopped using the external monitor. So some of you guys probably seen some of my setups. And I don't, I'm, I'm no longer using a TV and a tripod. I just don't want to be carrying it around. I don't want it to, I don't want to have issues syncing it and just doing all that. So I'm no longer using an external monitor. So if you guys are having issues with Luma Booth and the external monitor, remember guys, every, um, every application has a tech support team. Reach out to their tech support team. Let them know, hey guys, this is what I'm doing. What am I doing wrong? Is there something I need to update? Speaking of updates, Make sure you guys are constantly updating your Apple devices to the latest software. That way you guys don't have any glitches when you guys are some at, uh, some, at um, some of the events. So to answer your question, I don't know exactly what's going on uh, because I'm no longer using the external monitor. For me, like I said, it's just too much time shuffling back and forth. Um, I'd rather take up space in the vans that I ran, putting other stuff that's really going to make a difference in the production, like effects, right? <clears throat> There I go. I, there I go saying right again. Let's see. So someone wrote, I found that you cannot edit your invoice due date if you send the request for payment from the calendar. I have two invoices now saying overdue. Any suggestions? So they're basically saying that within the Wix, Wix allows you to send invoice and generate invoices to your clients. The cool thing is that if, say, for example, it's, it's saying overdue, when you send the invoice to the client, it allows you to put a note in for the client and you can let them know it's not overdue. Or what you can do is you can void that invoice. And once you void the invoice, you can generate a secondary invoice. And because the client's information is already in the system, you just type in the client's name, select the client's name, and all the information will generate. And then you can send the invoice out. But when, before you send the invoice out, you can go on the top right and change the date as far as when it's due. That way, when the client gets the invoice, they're not they're all. Oh, the meeting's coming up. That way, when the client gets the invoice, it doesn't say past due and alarms them because I've had that situation. So that's actually a really good question. Uh, I'm glad you're using Wix and I'm glad you're using their invoice system. Congratulations. Once again, guys, there's 20 of you guys on the YouTube live stream right now. There's 20 of you um, business owners, right? And I only have nine likes. Am I not providing any value? Let me know because I feel like the likes should probably equal the amount of folks on here because all it takes is a tap. But uh, I'm going to let you guys do you. I'm just bringing that to you guys being open with you, all right? So someone wrote, my 360 arm is slowing down. I tightened the belt, didn't change. So I've had that issue sometimes, guys, where my booth, something I can use as an example, I use my chapstick. This is your booth platform right here. If your booth is in, a, in an area where it's slightly like this, right, slightly tilted, what's going to happen is when you power on your arm because it's slanted and not flat, leveled, your arm sometimes starts off really slow. And this happened to me when I do uh, events at backyards on the grass. It's like a backyard boogie. And because the grass, it's kind of like in a slope, um, I have to kind of guide the arm until it builds momentum and starts spinning. So that's probably one reason why your arm is slowing down. Another thing that I'm doing, guys, is as soon as I hit power on my controller to activate the arm, I press the plus button twice so that the arm can speed up. So try that, Wilfred. See how that works. And also try to make sure that your booth is always nice and leveled on a flat surface. Some of you guys uh, asked me, 
David, where are you getting your tablecloths? Because I, I did tell you guys that I'm, I get customized tablecloths directly from Alibaba, and I get them at a price that it's 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 an it's just you save so much money when you buy directly from the manufacturer, right? And this is another reason why I think this channel is popular because I show you guys how to use the suppliers that I use. My suppliers are listed in the link below of almost every YouTube video. These suppliers are basically the manufacturer of the product, and you guys cut out the middleman. Now, I'm not going to say any names, but there's a couple individuals who started their 360 booth journey and also their photo booth business here on YouTube, and they're selling you the exact digital photo booth I bought for $900 delivered to my door with the case. They're selling that $900 digital photo booth for about $1,500. Now, think about what you guys can do with those extra $600 a lot. So, you know, buy directly from the manufacturer. Make sure you guys are getting warranty. Like I said, my suppliers are listed in the um, box below in the description box. That'll save you guys a ton of money when you guys buy directly from the manufacturer. Uh, that's just that's just how I do business. I'd rather go to the source. Uh, someone asked me, Click360, Click360 asked me, do you still rent a van to transport your 360 booth? I'm still renting a van. Finally, the car, uh, the car bubble has popped. And finally, the prices on cars are starting to drop. But every segment of type of vehicle is dropping at a different rate. For example, your sedans are dropping faster. Your trucks are not dropping as fast. Your vans are dropping slower. Convertibles, which is really weird, have they have actually appreciated. But generally speaking, uh, you're, you're going to start seeing better deals on cars, guys. We're entering a recession. We're kind of, in my opinion, we're already in a recession. But politically speaking, uh, we are going to be going into a recession in 2023, which is a, another another good point for us to stay united as a community and share what's working and what's not. Because we're do, we're going to have to do some price adjustment and we are going to have to get creative uh, going into a recession. Oh, so back to the uh, tablecloth logo, guys. Go on Alibaba. Um, I'll just make another video uh, showing you guys how to shop on Alibaba. And I will include the tablecloth vendor of mine where I paid $98 for two customized tablecloths. Those are on their way, and they're going to be having my logo on the cloth on three ends. In the center, on both the sides, and on the very top of the tablecloth where you guys will be putting your props. I also have a QR code that's going to take the attendee over to my Google reviews so that I can get reviews right there on the spot. Guys, get your Google business profile going. Get those reviews. Make sure those reviews have the word in there, 360 photo booth, okay? What time is it? All right, guys, I'm going to answer just a few more questions, and then I'm off to the live webinar taking place at uh, 10 a.m. here Pacific time and 1 p.m. Eastern time. This is going to be for Wix SEO. Whatever I soak up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak it all up, I'm going to analyze it, and then I'm going to present it to you in a more concise way so that you guys don't get bored. Um, I myself have a hard time sitting still for too long. That's probably why I didn't do a good job in the corporate world when I had a little cubicle. I was just always trying to go to the restroom, going to the kitchen, getting some snacks, and go sharpen my pencil. I just can't sharpen my pencil, but you guys get the point. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get some more questions answered here. Okay, what do you what do you what do I think about the overhead 360 machine? I don't think it's gonna catch on. I've seen videos of how it looks and it, it doesn't. It doesn't look appealing to me. I think that the eye level works way better or a little below the eye level where you guys look like you guys are on top of the game and then you're getting that recording. So I don't think the 360 uh, overhead, the one that has like a, a kind of like a canopy with the camera, I don't think that's going to catch on. I think the track star might have a better chance at selling. You're welcome, 360 Entertainment. Yeah, it costs nothing to hit the like button. So, yeah. So someone on here, uh, Mondo, confirmed that there's a there's a lot of people trying to sell you guys the product that I purchased, the product that you purchased at retail price. And I know that those people are, that are selling those photo booths and those 360 booths, they're also trying to make a living, and they probably have families as well, but. 
let them, uh, you know, capitalize on the average consumer, not business owners like us who are going to go to the directly to the source, right? So nothing against them. What will we do without you? You have created a clan and you are our king. Let your kindness. Uh, so Wilfred, thank you so much uh, for that compliment. But I think uh, the God is king, right? God is king and, and we're his children and, uh, you know, the creator created us. And now here as his creations, we're here to create as well. So why not create, uh, you know, a beautiful kingdom while here on earth until the day that we leave, we, we leave this soil? Um, let me go ahead. And so thanks, Wilfred. Exactly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it was a pleasure uh, hanging out with you guys here for a little bit, but I, I am going to be going on that webinar. I listed the link to that webinar. I'm going to be joining in a few minutes on the YouTube here uh, chat. So if you guys click on that link, it should give you the opportunity to go in there so that you guys can have a spot. This is going to be a Wix SEO and Wix is doing a lot of things. Snapic is doing a lot of things. And Combining those two, I need to soak up as much knowledge so I could come back with that knowledge and pour it out to you guys in hopes that this knowledge that I'm sharing with you guys will be applied and you guys will be able to capitalize on some of these ideas and tools Snapic and Wix is offering us, guys. So let's continue growing as a family. Let's continue growing as business owners. Let's continue to network and help each other out. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. I'll see you guys soon, all right? Take care. Peace. Out. I know it's this is this is like a long goodbye. I'm just trying to acknowledge everyone on here, uh, waving to you guys to let you know I see you, I see you. Um, so Yin, Jay Boo. Hey, what's up, Jay? Uh, Boy for God, uh, Forest, how do you pronounce F A R E E D H Z. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Unicorn Universe, GIF, my AKA, um, everyone, thank you, LA01 Harris, what's up? GFT MY AKA, I guess gift my AKA. Um, peace, stepper, Guillermo, yap, celebration. Man, there's there's a lot of you guys on here today. Man, I got cotton mouth. I'm talking too much. Let me drink a little bit this coffee. Uh, right over here. Thank you, Mark Garcia. Uh, my Karen, you guys are just. If you guys are tuned in, you guys just see me struggle, pronounce names. This is, uh, you, you guys get to business. Just, uh, let's, let's dis <laughs> disconnect because I didn't, I didn't make it to the spelling bee, but I'm still a D O W G homie. Can't you see 360 booth operator making a bunch of money? Let's go. All right, guys. Peace. So we close this one right here and then we're going to close this one right here. And then that black chick. Thank you. That's that's the username, guys. All right. So got yeah, this one here, TikTok. And my YouTube family, my YouTube homies, thank you as well. All right.